Hello everyone, this is Hammertron here with a new animal figurine review for you. This time I am reviewing the Safari Limited Wild Safari Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is set number 298529. This was first molded in 2006. I bought this in a store sometime during 2019 or 2020. When I bought it, it had a tag wrapped around its neck with this piece of plastic here. It has a warning card in English and some other languages. Here is the tag. Inside the tag is some basic information about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Here's some manufacturing information on the back. Let's take a look at the dimensions of this Tyrannosaurus Rex figurine. That the longest point from the mouth to the tail, it's about six and a half inches long, or about sixteen and a half centimeters long. At the widest point at the feet there, looks like it's a little more than two and three quarter inches wide, or about seven centimeters wide. At the highest point, it's about well, almost four and a half inches tall, or about 11 centimeters tall. So it's a nicely sized Tyrannosaurus Rex figurine. So this is an interesting design. It seems to have some ridges on the tail here like the spine or the bones are sticking up in the tail here and some sharp features on the head so maybe this one is more accurate than other Tyrannosaurus Rex figurines kind of a narrow mouth lots of teeth now the teeth are not too sharp to touch looks like it's nicely painted there Maybe a little bit sloppy, but uh, not too bad. Here's the eye. The eyes look okay. So, lots of texture sculpted throughout the body here. Now, I wonder if these arms are too large for the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Maybe they're supposed to be a lot smaller, but maybe they're made larger on the figurine, either to make it more interesting or so they're harder to break off. If they're too small, they might break off very easily. So nice little claws there, nice claws on the feet. Here's some manufacturing information there. They've sculpted the bottoms of the feet, so pretty nice. Lots of painting across the whole body, so very nice. Now, the plastic is kind of pliable at the tip of the tail here. The arms are a bit pliable. If we squeeze hard enough, we can bend these. Everything else feels pretty solid. So that's good. Now when this stands, it does have to have the tail in order to hold it up. And I did buy this in a store, so I was able to check it to make sure it doesn't wobble too much. This one doesn't seem to wobble. I think when I display it, it's better to display it um, this way with the head uh, facing towards the viewer. It's on the shelf, so it'll have to be like this. Interesting angle. So, also an interesting color. It's kind of hard to tell if it's an accurate color scheme or not. 
well, no one's ever seen a real Tyrannosaurus Rex. No one's seen any remains that would indicate what the colors were. So it's really hard to tell what it should look like. But this looks pretty nice. Looks pretty close to the kinds of dinosaurs that I saw growing up. The way they were portrayed in movies as either gray or brown or green. So I think it's a nice looking Tyrannosaurus Rex. So it'll be good on a shelf. Yes, I think I prefer this way better. So, it's a nice little Tyrannosaurus Rex figurine. Thank you for watching my review video. Remember to like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this Tyrannosaurus Rex figurine. And remember to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews. I'll see you next time. Bye.